Hey guys, welcome back to another All Things Nerd video. My name is Nathan, and today we're going to be doing a step-by-step -step guide on the beginners to Elden Ring. Now, you may be a first-time player, and Elden Ring might be your first game uh, when it comes to the Souls games. Maybe you never played Bloodborne, maybe you never played Dark Souls, maybe you never played Sekiro, and Elden Ring is your first time getting into the Dark Souls-type universe of games, right, from, from, from software. Now... For the sake of this video, we're going to do a step-by-step -step guide, and I'm going to show you where to go and the best things to do in the beginning of the game to kind of get you started. All right, so let's jump right into it. Right now, right here, we are in the character selection screen. For the sake of this video, I'm going to recommend the Vagabond. And the reason I'm going to recommend the Vagabond is because of the starting health. You can see here the Vigor is the highest out of all the starting characters. Now, Vigor means health. and the reason why you probably want to start this is because it's going to allow you to take more hits as you're learning the game because the more health you have the more the less uh sorry the more hits that you can take right so if you're fighting a boss you're fighting an enemy and they hit you four times right but you have a small health bar you're probably going to die right so and you're going to be learning the game for the first time so you're not going to know right away how the enemies react or how the bosses fight so I de definitely recommend the starting class is the Vagabond. So we're going to choose the Vagabond. And we're going to go with the male. Now we're just going to enter the name. We're just going to do all things nerd for the sake of the video. Okay. Oops, if I can even spell. Okay. We're going to keep it as a male. We're going to do young. And we're going to do the Vagabond. Now for the keepsake, I'm just going to go with the Crimson Amber Medallion. You can choose whatever you like. I highly recommend the medallion just because it's going to even increase your maximum HP even more. So, yeah, I would definitely go with the medallion. Um, all these ones, I mean, they're they're all good. But, yeah, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go with the medallion. I definitely recommend the medallion. And we're just going to keep the default customization. We're going to click yes, and we're going to jump in the game. So let's take a look. Now, I'm not going to watch the intro video. I'm going to skip that. If you want to watch the intro video, um, go ahead and do it on your own time. <laughs> okay, we're going to get right in here. So right now, we're currently fat with what's called fat rolling because we're heavy with all our armor on. So right away, um, I don't want the halberd. So I'm just going to take that off. There we go. Now we're rolling good. We're going to go over here and pick up this harness wizened finger. And we're going to go ahead and go right out here. Now, when you start the game, you're going to want to go through these doors. You're going you're gonna to walk straight ahead. You're going to go down these steps. And honestly, I would recommend just falling off the cliff when you get into this boss arena. You can try to fight the boss. It's up to you. I wouldn't recommend it because, you know, especially if you're a beginner and you're starting out in Elden Ring. Um, it's going to be to those who might be an experienced Souls player. Um... Yeah, so I would just go over here, fall off the edge. No matter what, you're meant to die in this area, so it doesn't matter. So it's just faster to walk off the edge and die. If you do decide to fight the Grafted Skion, um, it's going to give you the gold and uh, gold shield and like the gold sword. So that's pretty cool. And some runes. So, all right, we're going to skip this. All right. So we're here right in the beginning of the game. Now, you can one go one or two paths you can go to the right and you can jump down here and it's going to give you the tutorial area i highly recommend doing the tutorial area the reason being is because it's going to give you enough runes to buy a couple of starting items that we're going to want from the merchant coming up so or you can go to the left and go straight out there through those doors and it's going to take you to limgrave now for the sake of the video we're going to go down to the tutorial area now, I'll put a uh, timestamp in the video. You can skip this part, but we're just going to go through the tutorial area. We're going to get our first sight of grace. If any of you guys have ever heard of Dark Souls or have played any of the other Souls games, the sight of grace acts just like the bonfire. So let's go through the starting area. It's going to give you a bunch of tutorials. It's going to tell you how to lock on, how to fight enemies. And we're just going to rush through here. Going to tell us that we can block with our shield. We can dodge. And we're just going to keep running. A is to jump. 
we're gonna keep going we're just gonna keep dashing we're gonna pick up some material here and i'm i'm actually using an xbox controller so i'm playing it with the controller through here all right we're gonna skip this guy There we go. Easy, easy. We're gonna keep running. Now, like I said, you can go through this area any way you want. You know, I'm just kind of rushing through because I just kind of want to get through the starting area. But definitely, I recommend playing through the starting area. We're gonna dodge that. That was a late roll. That kind of sucked. <laughs> All right, we're gonna kill him. We're gonna keep going. It's gonna teach you another little thing here. We're gonna skip this. Oh, I missed. I suck. There we go. Okay, we got him. Alright, we're gonna keep walking. We're going to crouch here. We're gonna go behind this guy. We're gonna kill him. And this is just teaching you how to crouch and stuff. Like I said, we're just gonna run through this real quick because we want to get the runes from all these people. Um, also, I'll put a link in, this, in the video where you can just skip all this and get to where we need to get to. Okay. We're gonna kill this guy. We're gonna get the stake of Marak Marika. Or however you say it. I'm probably gonna butcher some of these names. <laughs> Alright, this is our first little tutorial boss named the Soldier of Godric. He's easy. Just jump, R2, and then execute him. All right, so after the tutorial area, you're gonna end up back here, where we first started, see? There's the guy, that's where we jump down. You're gonna pick up this item. It's just an emote. Jump back down. Okay, so we got through the tutorial area. So now you see we have 595 runes. We're gonna go in through these doors. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna get the next side of grace here. We're gonna go pick up the, oops, the fingers, and then we're gonna go up here. This is gonna take us to the limb grave. All right, so this is where we really wanna start. So after you beat the tutorial area, after you're done, you're gonna go in through this door up here, and this is going to take you to the start of the main game. Now the, the main game here, it starts out in limb grave. Now let's go ahead. We're going to go talk to this guy right over here. He's going to tell you, um, I know what's going on and you can talk to him if you want. You can either skip him. It's just up to you. We're just going to skip him for now. Now we want to pick up this next side of grace. We're going to get three sites of grace and I'm going to show you where to go. And this will allow us after we get three sites of grace, it's going to allow us to get our main mount torrent. Who's going to be like your, your donkey companion in the game. <laughs> Now this is a boss right here. This is the um, um, one of the knights. You, I would highly recommend to skip him. He's kind of a bait, right? Uh, when you first walk through the door, you're like, "Ooh, an enemy! Let's go attack him!" Right? He's a little hard. So if you're new to the Elden Ring, I wouldn't um, definitely wouldn't recommend. We're gonna go over here and pick up a couple of these room fragments. All right, and we're gonna keep going straight. Now we're gonna hit up this first church over here. And over here, we're gonna pick up our um, smithing stone, which is, will allow us to upgrade our weapons. And then we're also gonna talk to this merchant. So there's a couple of things you wanna buy from this merchant. There's two things I highly recommend. You're gonna go ahead and buy the torch. This will allow you to, when you go into caves, obviously pretty self-explanatory, it's gonna allow you to light up your area around you and then you're going to want to buy the crafting kit it enables the practice of item crafting right so it's going to allow you to be able to craft items and do all that stuff we're going to take the second side of grace here or i guess technically third right all right and we're going to come out here to the left and we're just just follow this path this way Go ahead and run past this enemy or kill him. It's up to you. 
We're just going to kill him real quick so we can get out of our way. There we go. Pick up some row of fruit on the way. And we're just going to keep running. Go ahead and kill this guy real quick. There's another steak of Marakia. And you're going to run all the way over here. And you're going to touch this last side of grace. Now, after we touch the side of grace, we're going to talk to a woman. She's going to give you a uh, torrent, your mount for the game. We're going to sit down. It's going to give us this dialogue. So you're going to be sitting here. She's going to appear. We, we can just skip this. Have you heard and you're just going to skip through. And you're going to say yes to her. Accept. And she's going to give you your Mount Torrent. Alright. I'm going to go into my inventory. Oops, sorry, not inventory. I'm going to go to my equipment. And I'm going to... Um, equip Torrent. And so this will give you your mount for the game. Now, there's a couple of actually really cool items we can get here. Uh, the first one over here is behind this guard. He's guarding a uh, Lodric, Lothro, Lodric sword or whatever it's called. It's a really good starting two-handed item. I, I don't know. I don't remember how much strength you need, but it's not a bad starting item if you're looking for a weapon to start the game with. There it is. Lord Warren's great sword. There we go. I ruined the name. And after that, you're going to come over this way. Let's go kill this dude real quick. You're going to want to kill this guy really quick because he has a trumpet. And he will sound the alarm for guards and whatnot. Right over here, this is going to be the map for Limgrave West. So go ahead and grab that. And then we're going to run make our way this way. We're going to go kill a couple dudes over here. There we go. We're going to grab our next item. Which is the flail. And then there's going to be another side of grace we can go grab over here real quick. All right. And we're going to heal up. And then we're going to run over here. And we're going to go grab a thing called the whetstone knife. And the whetstone knife will allow you to put abilities on your weapons. I'll explain that here soon. All right, take care of these guys. Oh, we attracted the big elite, dude. We're just going to de-aggro him real quick. Or we're just going to run straight down. So you're going to run down to this tunnel. And we're going to go grab the wet stone knife and just get out of here. We don't really care to fight that guy right now. Alright. So it says, with the wet stone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant your arraign arraignments new skills at Sites of Grace. And so basically, um, you can apply uh, abilities, like special abilities, to your weapons that you're used to fight with. I think this guy de -aggroed. Yeah, he did. We're going to go over here. We're going to pick up everything. Ooh, we got a war pick. All right. So after we got that, now, 
I highly recommend after you do all that and get your Mount Torrent, you want to head straight south to what's called the Weeping Peninsula. Now, before you go to the Weeping Peninsula, you can go back over here. It's like right here. There's a cave with a, I guess you could say like beginner boss. And there's like some wolves in the caves. It's a pretty easy starting area. And it's a good way to use your torch and to kind of learn the boss fights. He's pretty, he's pretty easy. So you can go do him or you can skip him and you can go straight down to the Weeping Peninsula. Now, we're just going to skip him for now, but I, if you want to go fight him, it's up to you. Um, okay, so we're going to grab our Mount Torrent and just watch this path and just follow where I go. And I'm going to take you to the Weeping Peninsula. So it just goes straight south. Now, the Weeping Pen Peninsula, uh, we're not going to spend too much time there um, in this video. I'm going to do a separate part two video of the Weeping Peninsula and kind of explore the area. Uh, we can go ahead and kill this thing. And I missed because I suck. I'm probably going to aggro a bunch of enemies. Wow, I'm bad. I can't hit crap. There we go. So we just got another Ash of War. Remember when we picked up the whetstone knife? Oh yeah, we're going to aggro a boss here. Or we're just going to run away. But yeah, just keep heading down this path. You can ignore the boss. He's going to keep chasing you, but eventually he'll, you know, he'll de-aggro you. Uh, we're going to run past these big dudes. And we're just going to keep going south along this road. We're going to ignore all the enemies here. Just keep going. Keep going. We're going to go on the right a little bit because we don't want to aggro an enemy. We're going to pick up this side of grace right here while we're on the way. I believe there was another side of grace we missed, but that's okay. Our main goal is to... Get to the Weeping Peninsula. All right, we're gonna avoid this air thing right here. These uh, these air, they're called sprint uh, spirits, spirit spring jumping. That's what they're called. Uh, basically, like you can jump in the thing and it will like shoot you up in the air. So it's like an easy way. Okay, so there's the bridge that we needed to get to. Here's another uh, stake of Marakia, and it already should be activated. Okay. So if you die in this game, there's a couple of things that will happen. You can either uh, spawn back at the last side of Grace that you visited or the stake of Mar Marika. Or I don't know how to say it. I keep butchering the name. All right, we got to the Weeping Peninsula. So just cross the bridge, go over here, take the side of Grace. We're going to sit here and we made it to the Weeping Peninsula. So yeah. That's the, the beginning area. I highly recommend to just go to straight to the Weeping Peninsula if you're new to Elden Ring. I'll do a part two video on the Weeping Peninsula. I won't go as fast as I did this part one video. And we can kind of take a look at the Weeping Peninsula. There's four main bosses in the Weeping Peninsula. I will tell you basically in the next video of the best um, order to do them in or my personal recommended order. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is just a beginning's guide to Elden Ring. If you guys have any questions, please put comments down in the video below. Please consider liking this video, subscribing to our channel for more Elden Ring content in the future. And uh, yeah, I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Thanks.